The two new buzzing phones that we were really waiting for are finally here. Oh yes, Samsung launched its two new Galaxy Note 10 phones. While one of them is Galaxy Note 10, the other one and the bigger one is Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Oh yes, there is a Note 10 Plus this year. While August 7 was the global launch of these phones, in India, Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy Note 10 Plus will be launching in the coming weeks. But you don't have to worry about that at all as I'm already here with my first impression of these phones. India Today Tech is fast, isn't it? Hi, you're watching India Today Tech. I am Pavni Jain and today I'm going to tell you my first impression of Galaxy Note 10 and Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Well, what is it that the new Galaxy Note is offering to the consumers? Well, they have got some really cool features, tweaked design and of course the crazy powerful hardware. So let's dive in the video. First the differences, there are four major differences between Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. One is obviously the size and screen dimensions. The Note 10 has a 6.3 inch screen, the Note 10 Plus has a 6.8 inch screen. The Note 10 Plus is bigger. Here in the psychedelic color is the Note 10 Plus. Samsung calls this color Aura Glow. There are two more basic colors, Aura White and Aura Black. This is for the Note 10 Plus because the Note 10 is also available in several other funky colors like red. The second big difference is the battery size between these two phones. While Note 10 comes with a 3500 mAh battery, Note 10 Plus has got a 4300 mAh battery and both these phones come with a 25 watt fast charging. The third difference is that the Note 10 Plus has a four rare cameras. Wide angle camera, zoom camera, regular camera and a TUF camera. TUF stands for time of flight. The Note 10 lacks this TUF camera. The fourth big difference is that there is no micro SD support in Note 10. Note 10 Plus has it. Talking of the memory, let me tell you that Note 10 has got 8 GB of RAM plus 256 GB of internal storage. Plenty, I say. And the Note 10 Plus has got a 12 GB of RAM. Wow! With an option to choose between 256 GB of internal storage or 512 GB of internal storage. Galaxy Note series has always been about the top end hardware and the unique S features. The Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus continue with the same line. The Super AMOLED display on both the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus is top class. It's vibrant and extremely bright. Inside the Note 10 phones, there is a 7 nanometer Exynos 9825 processor. At least in India, this is the CPU you will find inside the Note 10. Some other markets in the world may get the Note 10 with Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset. The performance of the Note 10 seems extremely good at first glance. It seems to be using faster storage. Is it the UFS 3.0 used in phones like one plus 7 Pro? We'll know that soon. But apps open fast and as you can see, scrolling is smooth. We have only spent limited time with Galaxy Note 10 and there is so much yet to explore. But Samsung phones have always been really fast and this one doesn't look any different. Looks? Oh yes, the looks have changed. Not so much though. Samsung is tweaking its design a bit for the Note 10 series. The top and bottom sides are more angular and boxy, while sides are more rounded. Well, the Note 10 is not the slimmest phone in the market, but the rounded edges makes it easy to hold, as well as give it more natural and appealing look. Size-wise, the Note 10 is a better fit in hands. It's compact despite its 6.3-inch screen. It's not that the Note 10 Plus is unwieldy. Despite its huge 6.8-inch screen, it is not oversized. Thanks to almost non-existent bezels. Talking of bezels, even the front camera is in the punch hole. But the Note 10 is surely more comfortable to use with one hand. Note 10 uses metal and lots of glass. To be precise, Gorilla Glass. The Glow variant is extremely shiny. Actually, all of them are. And this Glow variant changes hues and colors depending on how light is falling on it. It looks so cool! Well, the people who would want more subtle look may prefer black one and the people who want a classier phone should go with the white one. The Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus doesn't come with 3.5mm headphone jack. Well, this won't matter to many, but some Note buyers may not like it. Note 10 and Note 10 Plus are IP68 certified, so you can use them in Delhi and Mumbai rain, but don't take them with you on swimming. What about features? Well, as it is typical of high-end Samsung phones, these phones too come with some really cool features. Some of these are enabled by the S Pen, which uses Bluetooth to connect to the device and has a 10-hour standby battery life. In the camera app, the S Pen can be used to doodle on videos while they are being shot. 
There is also a new video editor in the phone. Video also supports live focus and in real time you can control the amount of blur in background in a video. As noted earlier, the Note 10 comes with three rear cameras. The primary one gets a 12 megapixel image sensor, while the other two gets a 16 megapixel wide angle lens and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Well, we haven't spent much time with the Note 10 cameras, but in our brief time, we found out that the zoom camera is quite impressive. And of course, the main camera is a good performer as well. Just have a look at the few shots we have taken from this phone. What are the features? The display has the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor embedded in the screen. Well, Samsung has worked with Microsoft to create the new version of DeX. What is DeX? Time for some extra gyan, guys. So many of you will know that Samsung has this feature called DeX. With this feature, you can connect your Galaxy Note phone to a computer and access your files and apps from a phone on a big screen. The DeX is changing for the better with Note 10 in two ways. So the big change is that DeX can be used with regular USB to Type-C cable that already comes in the box with the phone. So you don't need a separate dongle or a cable. The other way it is changing is because Samsung and Microsoft have worked together to create a wireless DeX for Windows 10 computers and Note 10. So this will allow mirroring of your phone to a PC. Even you'll get the notifications on your PC from the phone and the ability to make calls using computer when your phone is already connected. Sounds super cool, at least in theory. We will see how it works when it comes to India. The Note 10 also comes with AI-based gaming performance booster. The sound performance has been fine-tuned by AKG. The S Pen gets air actions, so basically wave or move the S Pen and you can swipe through photos on the phone. In Galaxy Note 10, there is this new feature in video recording that's called Zoom in Mic. So this will help users to record better sound, say in concerts. It's the best of Samsung for 2019. Just like every Note device has been from the company in its particular year. But it's going to be a little pricey. The Samsung software with millions. Overall, Note 10 seems to be a really, really cool device. This is the best of Samsung for 2019. Just like every Note device has been from the company in its particular year. But it's going to be a little pricey. The Samsung software with millions of features is still in a quiet taste. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions regarding these new Galaxy Note phones, put them in the comment section below and I will answer. And if you have enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do next. Hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to India Today Tech.